Portugal once again getting the job done. A 1-0 win over a stubborn Morocco, as we'd like to call them. Heartbreak for Morocco. We can see the players very emotional after that game. And on the back of another landmark for Cristiano Ronaldo, 1-0. Shaka Hislop here with me for this one. Shaka, thoughts on the game? Well, where do we start with this one? I'll start with Morocco, because Morocco dominated 180 yes. minutes of football so far this tournament. Shouts. Had some good penalty shows. Had some probably even better efforts to score from a natural run of play. But in two games, don't have a point to show for it, in, despite their, their, their dominance in, in both these games. And, and now their World Cup is, is over. Um, seeing that, you can, you can see the no goal late on in, in the first game against Iran. And then you concede after three minutes against, against Portugal, who for me are stubborn. Mm -hmm. We saw that from Portugal uh, two years ago in, in, in the Euros. And now again, with Ronaldo in this kind of form, uh, Rui Patricio showing the kind of form that he continues to show in between the six for Portugal. Um, th this was a, a result a couple of years in the making. As I said, they, they want you doing exactly this. Now, we like to get excited about Portugal, at least I do, because of the man right there at the front mm. for them, Cristiano Ronaldo. We know sometimes we criticize them and say that one of their biggest weaknesses is that they are too dependent on Ronaldo, but that could also be one of their biggest strengths. Have they found that formula that saw them go so far in the Euro 2016 and can it recreate itself and, and go far in the World Cup now? On, on the strength of this showing against, despite what the, the table may, may, may suggest, a very good Morocco team, I think yes. Now, this is not a team laden with stars. They've got the, the player they rally around in Cristiano Ronaldo. They're good at the back, led by Pepe, who... In, in certain European teams, at top level European teams, well past his best, but still puts in these incredible performances in a Portugal shirt. And, and as I mentioned, Rui Patricio in, in goal continues to be simply outstanding. Now, everybody else in between those two kind of banks continues to do a shift, continues to, to carry their own weight, and that's the making of a good team. You're better than the sum of its parts. It's something we've said about Germany, or continue to say about Germany time and time again. It's not about the stars, it's about everybody else. The fact that Portugal have their stars and everybody else continues to, to carry, at the very least, their own weight, suggests that it, it's not going to be that easy to beat them. I still don't have them winning this tournament. But if you are going to get the better of Portugal, you're going to have to earn it. All right. Thanks so much to Shaka Hislop. Well, there you have it. You thought Germany were a well-oiled machine. Mm. You might want to use that to describe Portugal right now.